Somebody asked me recently, what's so fun about this sport? Well, it's hard to describe, but if you get in one of these and you ride as a passenger, you sort of get the idea. It's like a major adrenaline, adrenaline rush. It's the thrill of trying to get up something. And you look at the hill and you're like, there's no way we're going up that. And you make it to the top. Or if you're not a passenger and you actually get to drive one, then it's like five times the thrill. So I, I just can't describe it. You have to get in one. You come out and see us and we'll put you in the driver's seat if you have enough guts for that. And you can try it for yourself. It's just amazing. to go out and look at the hill ahead of time, you know, even if it's just to run up it real quick before we go, make sure there aren't any surprises at the top or anything, which I got a little air, a little more air than I intended on this <laughs> hill at Hot Pride even, but um, it's hard when you're in there, it, it, it goes fast. When you watch the video later, it's like, oh man, I felt like I was moving a lot faster than that, because it's, it's a rough ride sometimes, but um, yeah, I'll be, you know, like there's that one tree that I need to stay to the right of or I need to hug this one rock or something. So I try and at least have something somewhere to pick out and aim for it. Pretty mild up in there and she, uh, she's got a dad in there with it, Chad Milder. They're, uh, they're in all the federal formation. Brand new buggy, this will be the second outing for it. Three, you ready? Three, two, one, go.
people think sometimes that you can control the buggies more than you can. Mm -hmm. when, when you're bouncing up a hill full speed, you don't always have control over where you're gonna land. So, and especially with like throwing rocks and things too. I mean, yeah, the rocks. Control over that, mm -mm. So, um, I've taken a few rocks there and they're not good. I usually find a nice tree that I can hide behind or get exit route when I'm watching. Like, where am I gonna go if this thing starts coming towards me? So yeah. I think that's what everybody should do without spectating. Well, it's so important, but we rely heavily on spectators to listen to the people, the experts, listen to the people putting it on. Get out of the way. Because really, when there's barriers put up, it really is for their safety. I mean, if we could yeah. put everybody on the, you know, right up in the action, yeah. we would, because it's cool to experience it, but it's super dangerous. So really, the spectators are respectful, which is what helps a lot to keep things yeah. um, from going into all havoc. When I got up there, um, the nerves didn't hit me. I was just super excited, you know, because it's what I've wanted for a long time, and I've wanted to get in a buggy, and I've wanted to race, and, you know, I hadn't had the opportunity to yet. So I'm just super stoked until I get up to the line and I see Ty Turner, you know, counting down. <laughs> and I'm like, oh shoot, this is about to get real. <laughs> I got hung up on a tree to the left because they were like, hug the tree when you come around, got the back tire on it, uh, missed the gear, but then got it in right away and backed up and went along the way. Um, got a little bouncy up at the top of the hill, <clears throat> but you know, all of that is getting used to the buggy, getting used to what you're doing, staying in the throttle. Um, a lot of it's you know, going to be practice and seat time and hopefully by the end of the summer, um, I'll be giving Bree a little bit of, you know, competition. action on the first hill and now we're heading to the motocross which I'm super excited about. Thanks for joining us this time around on 4x4 Nation. As always be sure to check back soon because we'll be bringing you more 4x4 action. Head on over to our Facebook, give us a like and then check out our website for more on this crazy rock bouncing world.